Step one, wake up early, gon' rise with the sun. Step two, get some good, some food in you. Step three, think grow hard about what you wanna be. Step four, f everybody just do your thing. Wake up, today's gonna be a good day. 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 Guys, it's Mom Dukes here. Happy January. I hope all is well on the home fronts. And as you saw within the title, we're going to be discussing the top three reasons why your hair is not growing how you think it should grow. So if you want to hear and enjoy this content, if you're not yet subscribed, if you feel like it is free, go ahead and do that. If not, not a problem. Gain the knowledge as you see fit. So with that being said, guys, we're going to go ahead and get right into this content here. One of the top three reasons, misinformation. Misinformation, that means these trends that's out here from the rice water to this. Some of y'all don't even eat rice, but you're going to use the water for your hair and not knowing the right process and how to process the rice and what you need to do and other things of that nature how long the rice water lasts are you using boiled water from your tap or are you using distilled water we're gonna get further uh, further in this video and talk about that fake photos their hair was to here then they show you three months later and their hair is down to here unrealistic goals that's my second one it speaks for itself I'm not going to sit here and tell y'all, as y'all see my hair, this is half natural state, meaning that it's poofed out or whatever, but it's afroed out in a puff bun. But I'm not going to say in um, three three months, my hair, gonna, my hair is here. In three months, it's going to be down in here. That's unrealistic goals. Or, you know what? I want my hair, it's, I just chopped it all off and it's short and it's um, not even three inches. And I'm saying by the end of summer, my hair... It's going to be 15 inches long. Yes, if you buy it, it will be. This vessel that we have, it function and work on its own. You don't have to do nothing but just do it right. This vessel. Yeah, we're going to speak on all that. The third, all hair type. It's not a one size fit all. All hair types. Meaning it's three. It's three type of um, follicles, basically, of hair. Meaning... It ain't 12, 6, 17. It's three different follicles of hair. Your hair is either round, straight, that's basically round, oval, soft wave or a little wave curl like mine, and then elliptical, which is extra curly or kinky. I guess I would have a 3C, I believe it is. Mm -hmm. I guess my hair um, type will be a 3C. No, my hair texture will be a 3C. You know why it's not tight? It's because your type, you only have three. Your texture come in different forms depending upon your um, your heritage, where you come from, your background, your DNA. That, that determines your hair. We're going to go with the four things that you can do to change that. The first, I was going to go with one. And then when I wrote the other one down, which was the last one, I said, wait a minute. This need to be the first one. Patience. Pretty much 90-something percent of us are non-patient um, humans. So we need to have that first so everything else can fall in line. I was going to go with this one, too, for number two. But first, I'm going to go with this one for number three. Your health benefit, meaning the, the, meaning the water that you may intake via through your skin or internally throughout your organs. And also the food that you take in, the extra toxins. You know, if you like to party, do a few things. You know, speaking from all, from perspective. So, how do you change that? You say, well, what, what that going to change? If you are what you eat, if you're eating shit, your hair going to be shit. But if you're eating pretty decent, your hair is going to reflect and show that. Your body shows on the outside how you are on the inside if you wicked your shit look wicked if you're pretty damn good it show like damn okay she can need a little bit of this but might just need a little bit more love just saying 
So, that's first. So, you're saying, well, how do I eat right? I mean, you might want to incorporate more fresh foods. Vegetables, fruit. You know, change it up. Put it within your diet. Maybe grow your own stuff so you know exactly what's going on with it. Um, you know, those things, it's okay to learn because it's going to help you beneficially all over. Whether if it's longevity of life, skin health and all over care, you might want to think about that. You know, we all make mistakes and do things to ourselves, but have you ever heard that this is a natural healing vessel? So meaning if you kind of try to change or do right, it'll do better. Meaning if you smoke and if you stop smoking, the damage that you've done after like, I think it's six months or a year, I have to get that for y'all because I used to know it because I am a smoker. Um, if you stop that damage over time that you've done to your body, start healing itself at a rapid rate. So just imagine if you incorporate fresh ingredients into your diet plan for your gut and your insides. It's going to reflect on the outside. Number, this would be three. Do your own research to do. So we're going to go ahead and read a little bit of this research, meaning I ain't going to read, read, but I'm going to show you a few things. So the first thing we're going to talk about is this is four stages of your hair um, formation. The first stage is atom. The second is amino acid. The third and fourth is polypeptide chains. And the fifth is side bonds. So I'm going to show y'all how, how that look. I told you, just look. I want y'all to know. So this right here. This is how your hair for, form, formation is. And this is for all humans. Everybody start this way. Y'all get where I'm going with this. Everybody start this way. DNA and other things factor within your type also pH scale of things we all forget about that we know that our water be just with chlorine and other minerals and stuff that our hair and body just don't need because it produ produces its own this vessel so you should know the pH balance of at least your skin your hair, your scalp, at least that. At least. If you don't even want to learn nothing else, just know that. There's only two numbers. 4.5 to 5.5 on a pH scale. And that's the acidic pH balance of what it should be. Now, you get from 0 to 14. 7 is neutral because it's in the middle. Anything less than 7 is acidic. Anything higher than 7 is alkaline. Okay? Now, we know this vessel, the copper, the browner skin tone, have more alkalinity within the body so you have to make your body balanced which you have to maintain and keep your body for it to act right balanced at a seven tell you the truth from the food you eat to everything else you consume it's a lot to do most people not doing it because they're we're too lazy why that's fine you don't have to i'm just giving you the information do what you feel with the information that i'm giving because it's free now, in school, you had to pay for it. Quite a bit of money. I know, because I'm a licensed stylist, and I'm a licensed nail tech. So I know these things. It costs a lot of money. I went to school both times. I wanted to learn different. I I'm that person. Your um, balance of your skin, I already told y'all, that's 4.5 to 5.5. Now, you say, well, how are we supposed to know this? You know, you could buy these things. They, they're cheap. They cost less than what weed costs, or um, a pint of liquor, or a six pack of beer or whatever those things cost. You know what I'm saying? It's less than that. But you either can get a pH paper, which is them strips. They should sell them in the rings, a pH pencil or a pH meter. I say go with the meter. It's doing it for you. Now, maybe with the meter, it didn't have the papers on the set, just in case your meter want to act out of pocket because it is electronics. So just in case, hey, you the paper. Go back old school, too. Have old and new working together side by side. 
Okay? Now, shampoos and conditioners. Okay? That's the same. You got to work within your um, how your hair reacts to certain things. If your um, shampoo is doing what it needs to do. Because the purpose of shampooing is to basically... You're only supposed to shampoo as often as necessary. Meaning... If your hair is not getting really oily, a lot of dirt build up, product build up, then it's no need for you to be shampooing your hair every other day, every week, every other week. If you get when your hair is oily and you know it and it's product build, it may smell a little bit. If you get what I said, it may just need, you know, you know, like, mm, it's time for me to shampoo. Because, see, when you shampoo too often, thinking you're keeping it clean and not letting that natural oil sebum build up. You know, come in so it can do what it needs to do on the hair strands and straps and everything. Strand, you know, it needs to do what it got to do. Everything has a purpose. So when it's not able to do its purpose, you're stripping the hair of its natural oils that it already um, obtained and have. So why do that? See, it's about learning about yourself. And when you learn about you, that's that key. Try. I'm trying to slide it with y'all because I know some of y'all can't gather it all in one setting. But I'm going to try to get you there. Now, we're going to get on the water, which is the last and final thing that you can do is about your water. And you need to know the facts on how hair grow. So, water is important because we're made of 85% water. And also, and that's human bodies, is made of 85% water. The earth is made up of 75% water. So, you get where I'm coming from? That's why water is important for your hair. You know, you then if you actually factor in and see how much of our body makes up the oils and how much the sebum is and how much percent that is, you might need to know how much oil you need to maintain and keep within your hair. Okay? But back to the water. It's either hard or soft. Soft water is the preferred water to actually shampoo your hair in because the hard water has minerals, and chemicals and other things that I told y'all, your body already make the minerals and the chemicals. What you need that for? So it's like you don't need that. Now let's talk about this hair grow. Everybody is in the assumption that your hair just gonna grow like oh my goodness down your back. No, hair grows through a stage. Okay, the stage. You have an antigen stage, a canogen stage, and a telogen stage. Those are these here. Okay, this stage here is basically the growing stage. Now, remember, if you got three stages, that means throughout a year, your hair has to do something. It has to go through these stages pretty frequently throughout that whole 12 months, we'll say. It's the growing stage. So, on an average, 90%, 90%, and you may get that 10%, that's a little bit extraordinary or under extraordinary, whichever way you look at it. Uh, person hair in this stage which lasts from two to six years hair um, color is darker during this stage so that means that on average you got 90 percent of people that hair is actually growing between two to six years growing the catagen stage is a brief transitional stage this is all when this, all the hair cells stop they kind of Saving their energy, like if you're resting through, you know, the bears when they go hibernate, they kind of like almost hibernating, but not all the way there. They're getting prepared. They're getting all the preparations ready. Like what you see the squirrels doing now. Then you have the intelligent or the resting stage. Now, the other stage where it's kind of transitioning, that happens for only a few weeks. Now, I learned several is three and a few is two. So two weeks is how long that process lasts about that now you have the resting stage this is when um some of the hair may fall out and shed you know 10 15 percent you know of hair is in the resting stage which generally lasts three to four months um you know your cells and divisions they trying to bring and produce regrowth so that you can go back through that growing stage and it's all over again it's a cycle just like infinity it's a cycle it repeats itself if someone is sick 
if someone is stressed, if they're lacking vitamins and minerals that naturally they will have in their body from the food that they may intake, the water that they're drinking, certain things, all of those things, this can play a factor in your hair growth. Period. So it's hard to grow hair because you have to be stress-free. You have to eat good. You have to sleep well. You have to maybe exercise if that's what you choose to do. You know, you have to kind of, you know, act like you love this vessel that you have in order for your hair to show show the results. And if you're extraordinary, your, your hair may grow all the way down your back in six months. Now let's talk about the hair growth. In humans, y'all notice I say humans and I keep saying it because we're not other animals, but I'm going to tell you how human hair growth. In humans, the average rule, um, the average rate of hair growth, and the reason why they say average, because they want to, they're basically saying those that may not, you know, dibble and dabble in drinking and drugs, eat good, exercise, healthy. Basically, they want to say healthy, but they don't want to offend anyone. But on the average, the average rate of hair grows one. I mean, a half of inch, which is 1.25 centimeters per month. So you saying, well, what is that? Well, let's think about it. Per month, in a year, that's 15 inches. If you eat right, stress-free, living good, not worrying about nobody, staying in your own lane, doing you, this is how long your hair has the possibility to grow. This long. Can y'all see that? Can y'all see that? That's 15 inches. This is how long your hair can possibly grow if you do those things. And then get you a filter for your water. Because you, if you ain't test your water with the pH to see if it's 7, because all water is neutral. It's a universal language of love. So guess what? If it ain't 7, that means you got minerals in it. You might want to get you a little filterization. So that you could do your hair some justice and your hair will love you because it's not about just oh my products i use that has something to do with it as well products do have something to do but if you're doing all that other stuff i don't care if you get the top products you got products the, the size using the gods it still ain't gonna help your hair okay so let's stop stressing let's have patience and you have to buy product and things of that sort according to how your hair responds. Because I say natural stuff works just more better than anything else. And I know it's a lot of products out here that say natural and this, but then they're adding other things in because they need certain stuff to react a certain type of way to make that product. If I can't make it naturally, y'all not going to receive it, meaning I'm not even going to network it. I'm not even going to waste my time to do it. If I can't find the natural things to use to make things combine, mix for you guys, I'm not doing it because I do it for me. So if y'all did see my other video, because we're going to wrap it up now, we're done. Those are those are it. If you did see my other video with my hair curl cream. And y'all saw like on this side where I showed you like the hair and how this was more hair and this other side over here was real thin. Well, as you see, oh, it's coming. Y'all see that? It's coming back up there. And I did make me my own wax, you know, because I had to slick my hair up. But I can't. I haven't made my gel yet. And I don't put alcohol that's going to dry my hair shaft out when I'm trying to add oil to it in my hair. It's not going to work. See, when you know better, you do better. Period. Alcohol is like a killer killer if you don't want no hair. Go on and keep using stuff with alcohol in it. All hair is not the same. It's not a one-size-fit-all. Learn about you. Learn about your body. Learn what to do. It's that simple. So, with that being said, guys, y'all stay safe, and y'all are always blessed. Y'all my people. I love you. Mom Deuce is out. Deuces. <coughs> In my veins, I've been driving this train Years in this lane, there's no stopping this flame Cause I came to the game and I changed it to play How I like rearranged it to my own domain Yeah, I got what it takes, made lots of mistakes Taking shots, skipping breaks, feeling lost, feeling great Popping off, singing straight, never stopping